you cannot text back straight away. You cannot make it seem obvious that you like her. If the vibe from the guy is like, he very late back, then I'll be like, I'm smoking, this is cool. The movie is a major no-no for yeah. a first date. It's a chance to like, yeah. a little bit, <laughs> no? Exactly. I oh, that okay. movie. Yeah, I remember, no, I remember. Sorry, still go play. Why do women give men the worst dating advice? It's true. This is your daily catch-up. Boom. Welcome to another episode. We are going to ask men more questions, but this time we scoured Reddit because I had a yet, right? Oh, mm. wow. You really uh, sent me about I'm this. Just kidding, uh. I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> so these questions are going to be dating related. So on the panel, we have John Paul, Ooh. John. Oh, we've got introductions now. <laughs> Dan, Shams, and Liz again. Let's go! Okay, first question from Reddit. What is the biggest no-no in the first date? Ooh. Yeah, I think it's like knowing how to spark the conversation. Because I think there are a lot of people who are not conversationalists. And so then they naturally just end up talking about themselves. But I think it's also not being able to ask the right questions to the other person. Mm. Right? So like, if I always feel that I'm asking all the questions and then the girl is just replying about herself and then conversation ends, Ayoh. it also feels like, hey, where's the where's the follow-up? That, that is yeah. the biggest turn for me. Like, I don't mind if you talk about yourself. Because at this point, I also want to get to know you. So mm. if you're very talkative, then you go ahead. Um, <laughs> yep away. Yep away. But I cannot tahan if like, I ask a question, then you just like, yeah. Oh. Oh. yeah. Then after that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I think mm. I've been on a date before. Then the girl, after that, feel like, hey, how come? How come I did? And I thought, I, like, I thought it went well. Oh. Hey, it did not f-ing go well. Yeah, it was f-ing tiring. Yeah. But I, I also can see how, it, like, from, from her point of view, it's just he seems genuinely interested in me. He asked me a lot of questions. But also, hard carries, yeah. Mm. yeah. Like, no, but I think, right, that's why it's so important when you decide on a date to also have something else to have done like yeah, I think yeah. like an activity because it gives you a chance to like wow just now ah uh, like we did yeah. that hey wow like you yeah, throw eggs yeah. and then uh, you nearly killed me you know that kind yeah, of thing yeah. like <laughs> like at least got something <laughs> better, cooking class better. is a great first date guys mm-hmm. do cooking class mm-hmm. yeah. I said why cooking class yeah what if I don't enjoy cooking you want to test her housewife ability oh. yeah. and then <laughs> y'all get to help each other do things Oh, like if I'm not good work. at slicing and dicing, you help me do the slicing oh. and dicing. Then I help you do like, like the stuff that you're afraid to do, like frying. Okay, uh, so you simulate teamwork almost. Uh, uh, I think it's too much of a commitment though. <laughs> For a first date. Quite expensive at cooking class. I think it's a dome. Yeah. One pack's hundred dollars. Ooh. If you're in your thirties, okay lah, I think. But if, if you're, you're like money. 19 years old, fresh out of poly or secondary school or whatever. Like because of the cost lah. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, la, one, then, no, la, it just depends on the. That one is movie and dinner. Of life. Guys. So yeah, what? I don't know why there was a point of time we think that movie was a good idea. Sit down there two hours, don't talk. Exactly. No, it's like, yeah. movie is a major no no. Yeah. It's for the after. first date. Yeah. But last time we always movie. I mean, at least I did always. I, my yeah, first my also. first date, a lot of didn't have movies, but it was fun. Yeah, and I also it's a chance like yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I had oh. movie dinner. Yeah, I remember oh. now. I remember. Now. Sorry, still a good plan. Yeah. Still a good plan. Okay, I don't yeah, know why there's so much hate on movie dates. It's great. First date. It, yeah. ju- it cannot be simply just the movie. It's yeah going to be like dinner first and yeah. then a movie. Makan yeah. first. Yeah, you get, get to know, know the person. person. Yeah. Do I want to kiss you? I think you? why it works also is that <laughs> there's an external force. Like new movies out, everybody want to watch it. I don't know, you want to watch it anyway. Yeah. You watch it with me. As yeah, opposed to yeah. I concoct something like, hey, you want to go cooking class? Then like, ah, I have no interest in cooking. <laughs> You're just cheating like, your own idea. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. But yeah. exactly that you have an in. You have an in to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You barely know this person. Maybe you're texting or whatever for a bit. Then you finally meet, right? Then you're both going to sit next to each other, somewhat of a stranger, and then watch consumer film. Is it because of the way People you consume? consumer film is f- is it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm really annoyed by you. <laughs> I think it's because the way you consume a film. Because when you watch a movie, you're like critiquing a movie and you're finding like, okay, do I like this? And it's more about the story as opposed to like, it's just yeah. the activity. It's a background thing. I just want to be next to my first date. Like yeah. just as colleagues, right? When you ask in me silence. how to find a film, I don't dare answer you. <laughs> I don't think you have to be in silence, but there could be little like movement, like little. Because to me, there, there are two factors to this, right? One is that you don't know what to talk about and you want to use this as a subject matter, mm-hmm. which to me already is a little bit of a red flag because if I'm meeting you for first date, we run out of things to talk about so quickly, then are we really compatible? And the second is that if you want to just do an activity to spend alone time, this is the one thing that you do not need another person to do. Mm. Yeah, so then I would rather go expensive cooking class with John. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what was so your- when we, you, you chose me to consume a film together with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think no, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is my dilemma because if you send her home, very, very sweet. But I feel that if you go home separately, right, you have an in to text back, which is to, hey, did you, you home? get home safe? Uh. Oh. No, but I can do it from quite that Did you go upstairs and live safe? 
Yeah, or like after drop off, especially if you drove. But you don't need an in like that. You can just text her after that and be like, "Hey, thanks for tonight. I had fun." Yeah, lo, I yeah, mean, lo. that's already. Mm. It's like a conclusion. Mm. Yeah. 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 Right yeah. No, 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 no. Like you, Because you I need... think as a guy, right? I think we get a lot of wrong information from our guy friends. Some say, right? Actually, majority say, say you cannot text back straight away. You cannot make it seem obvious that you like mm. her. In fact, women teach us that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. What? Exactly. Yeah. Do you feel that way? Do you? No, because you already like the guy. Yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah. No, I have even been on dates that I don't like the guy. Let me see. If you text me, right? Okay, what? No way. You actually <laughs> think that. You actually think that. No. <laughs> if I'm still deciding between like between like whether or not I like this guy, if he doesn't text me after the date immediately, be like, hey, oh, hey, you know, like that was a nice mm. night. Thank you. Yeah. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a turn off. It should be a follow up. Yeah, Take you must have No, but not immediately. Like an hour later. Oh, no, okay, okay, it must be the same yeah, day or same night. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, tomorrow morning is okay, la, but still must conclude. Yeah, no, no, yeah. cannot be next morning. Oh, okay, it must be the same night. But why do guys like part ways at 2 a.m.? Ah, yeah, la, yeah, la. So then he texts you good morning at like same 9. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Like oh, before you day. go to sleep. Ah, you must Yeah, yeah. I think I need to go to the text saying like, I swear at night. You work night shift after you go to work. You go to work. You still can say a short sentence. Before I start work, ah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just like, oh, thanks for tonight. Soon. Okay. Yeah. Sleep tight. Yeah. Something like that. Have a good uh. rest. Sleep for me like that. I actually think for a very long time, right? This is actually very useful information for viewers. Yeah. Yeah. Because they really need to know this. First useful app like this. Year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Easily. I think my no-no for a first date is tacos. <laughs> Why? Because I just had tacos recently. Right? It's a f- mess. It's a messy food, lah. It's so. It's too messy already. <laughs> it's like Everything a Like you still here, lick here. Yeah, oh. yeah. Then, then it's over there. You need to dip here. Why it got there, glove? Why it got glove? Messy and then spicy. Then you cannot talk properly. So is it a no no? Because you don't look good eating it. No, it's just too messy a food. Pick a food right that is like satay. Yeah. Easy to consume so that the conversation mm. can take a lead a bit. Yeah. Right. Talk, Sushi, right? yeah, just one piece. Oh, can, can. I want to say, right, y'all can go to La Pasta, right? Buy 100 satay. Yeah. The price is very surprisingly affordable. Less than mm, La Pasta. Yeah. yeah. But satay you is generally less than a dollar. Right? No, it's not. It's, like, so it's 70, 80 cents. No, it's 80 cents la, minimally now. And 100 is a big commitment. Eh. Why yeah, you like to go, go, go <laughs> big with everything? 100 satay is no, for us. Like like four of us. <laughs> la. 25 each. La. Satay is never enough. Serious. 25 is quite a lot. La. Yeah, yeah. He's coming. Never enough. I, I eat satay like, like spicy nuggets. Eh. Like, <laughs> like at the last piece, you wish there was one more. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think a big no-no, right, is if the woman, and I think it's quite a cliche, but when the woman is rude to like the waiters, oh. like, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. never say please, thank you, it's just like, oh, uh, yeah, I wonder, uh, oh. then I think like, oh. But that's, maybe they introvert, like not rude or what, they just like, uh, quietly. No, but there's a way this. to be yeah. nice and polite, mm. yeah. like, especially to service stuff. Don't ask about career. Oh, that's huh? a no Because it feels like you're dating me for oh. money. Oh. But ask about dreams. Oh. So I, what do you do for work? Can I get to know you? Just like that. That no. enough, you gotta stop there. But you know, once I dated a guy, I think on the third or fourth date, he got mad at me. He was like, why haven't you asked me how much I earn? Oh, I was like, huh? Went to, uh, that was his I was only like, cut lah. Yeah. Oh. I was like, if you want to tell me, you tell me. But yeah, some la. people are quite sensitive about how much money they make. Huh, he got he was mad, mad. mad. Oh, interesting. Well, that's the first eh? What are some well-meaning dating advice women give to male friends which are just bad? Oh, so like our female friends tell us then we try then actually turned out to be shit. Like don't text them. The night off. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a guy friend tell him one, not oh. girlfriend. Oh, it's a no, girl. girlfriends also tell me this. Wow. You know what the problem is? There are a lot of girls out there, right? Who have dated many guys and they all have the same problems and then it's always like, ah, oh, this guy really mistreated me or they cheated on me or like whatever, right? And then the advice that maybe a group of friends give them is that I think you need to date like a different pool or a different type of guy because you're always dating bad boys or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they don't want... They always want to date the same bad guy. Yeah, but also it's so hard to control. <laughs> right? I don't think I'm tight. Yeah, That's what but then, attracted to. So then I feel like if the advice is given to you that, hey, you should wait because girls don't like it when you simp, then you try, right? And this girl actually wants you to simp. Then it's like, what's the conclusion here? All girls are different. F- it's not so pathetic. Yeah, right? Uh. Never try, never know. Recently, I got one guy friend, like I got a few single guy friends, right? They always like, dangerous. oh, yes, how come? Yeah. No, because they always they them scared. They don't dare to ask out the girl out or like uh, even sleep sleep even slide into their DMs. They don't want yeah. They like them scared, them scared. But the girl obviously open to to dating. Now okay. I just say just do it. So to my advice is never try, never know. Hmm. Correct not. It's very quickly one wrong turn becomes. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I think right. You have to understand who you are and how you how you navigate dating and relationships mm. because like 
Mine is I try right, then I cannot back up. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I like I'm not interested. No, you, you have the five seconds yeah, of like, courage, but it's only five seconds. <laughs> then you need to follow through one, eh? then you, you will crumble and follow through. I think the worst thing that I've done, right, maybe when I was younger, was that I asked a girl to help me text another girl. So I'm always asking like, what should I say now? Or like, is this okay? But then obviously like you part ways, like she goes home, I go home, mm. and then I have to continue the conversation. I'm like, you're not that interesting. Yeah. I really don't know what to say. And so then I think that was like a big like problem for me at that point in time. Mm. Need to c- come up with my own like way of talking and courage. I do think that if you have a female friend though, you should go and ask them sometimes for like relationship advice. Because I think we are really, really wired very differently. And sometimes you 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 cannot understand the the, the, the person you're dating. Mm. Then if you ask radio, then you can try to understand the perspective from somebody else. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I think one weird, like, long out thing I, I thought about pet, right? When I first met her, I realized she don't eat vegetable. At first, it's quite cute, but I thought it was a joke <laughs> at some point, right? Because, like, some people don't eat sashimi until they go to Japan and then eat sashimi. Then, like, oh my mm. God, it's also bad. <laughs> like, you try sashimi, that's very nice, then you continue eating sashimi. So I thought I could perhaps get her to eat vegetable. When I realized that was impossible, right? What almost felt like a deal breaker to me is that then we can never educate our children how to eat vegetable because I will eat and then the kid might ask why she can don't eat. At least for me, I didn't grow up loving vegetable. I just ate vegetable to impress my mom because every time I eat vegetable, my mom gets very proud of me. She tells her friends and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And I live for that shit, right? Mm. One of the key things that make me accept that she don't eat vegetable is when we decide not to have kids. And then now <laughs> I don't care. Now it's like, now when we order, we eat together, sit down, right? Really, <laughs> really. I'll be like, hey guys, don't order vegetable, pet don't eat. Unless you want to eat your ears, uh, pet won't eat. Only until when you decide that you don't no. want to. Like then I fully let go because I realized that was what. Oh. Fair enough. Yeah, because oh. she's eating supplements. It's not a nutrition problem. Mm. It's now how do I teach my future hypothetical kid? Mm. Then when the hypothetical kid will, it has been cancelled. No, then before <laughs> you guys came to that decision of not wanting children, right? How was that? Yeah, how do you manage that? Yeah, how yeah. do you? We just keep fighting. I just like a bit. Uh, of, every I meal. Trade a bit, lor. Wow. Like you flick one broccoli onto her plate. No la, like a, <laughs> if, a big side of if we all go out <laughs> eat together, so then there'll be vegetables on the table because we are normal people, ma. <laughs> yeah, okay, then, okay. Like, these are very nice, can you try them? Very nice, can you try just a bit, just a bit. But <laughs> then you explain. There, there was a bit of success. For example, she eats broccoli now. She eats oh, okay, uh, okay. Okay. sambal gang gong. Like, okay. if, it's, if the vegetable cooked to the point, you cannot taste vegetable, but nutrients also gone, but whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 fiber, yeah, yeah. fiber is fiber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fiber Little is fiber. Mean, uh, sambal gang gong is a great gateway vegetable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like, <laughs> I nutrition. <laughs> Very rarely, like the, the, the pills you eat or the, the supplement drink that we take mm. don't really cover fiber. fiber, yeah. Yeah, fiber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was dating this girl in uni and then her group of friends right, were all like, uh, some of them were close to me and they were all good girls kind. So I made the mistake of asking them, actually not a mistake because like, we ended up together, but I asked them like, hey, who, what should I do? Give me some advice. And they said, the girl that you're going, right? she's also very good. So like, I think like just be in your best behavior, be like your quiet boy self. La. So we go on a date and we are best behavior, have a very nice date and then we go second, third, fourth date, ended up being together for a while, like maybe a couple of months. It took us until our second month of our relationship, right? To realize that she actually drinks every single day, like every oh. meal she has, right? She will pour like gin into like her tea and that kind of thing. She smokes and like, it just came out because we were both putting our best friend because the same group of friends kept saying, hey, Daniel, very quiet. You better be good. Oh my God. Oh. And then they were saying that the girl very good. So like, oh, oh shit. So how like, do you find out? We were doing long distance. So then I think she just asked me like how the weekend was. Then I was like, oh, you know, I went out with some friends. They made me like drink and then, you know, like did some stuff. Then she was just like, can I just be honest with you? Like, I'm actually, I actually drink a lot. and I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think like, like slowly then we just like oh. opened up like, and we realized, wait, what right. the f- like we weren't ourselves. But to this point though, I also feel like, especially if you're a young man, right? Mm. Some terrible advice could be, be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like that's my number one advice. If a guy asks me for dating advice, then I just say, be yourself. But apparently to ready is the worst advice. Yeah, why? there's why? a reason why they're still single. Extra plane. No, why? but why would you want to be with someone when, when you can't be yourself? Like you want to yeah. No, you have to learn to be a better version. Not, not, not to be someone else, for yeah, example. Right. Yeah. But learn to be a better version of yourself. If you swear a lot, it turns people off, then don't swear during the date. Then I feel like with men, right, every girl you date, not say get into a relationship, every girl you date, right, is a leveling opportunity. You must level up yeah. mm. to become that better person, eventually worthy. No, I feel like you should be yeah. the best version of yourself. Yeah, I right think on the yes. first date, Which and, is not then, and, and that's something that you you strive to work towards being constantly. So that best version becomes your correct, your normal. Yeah, yeah, but be yourself. It's not the same as be the best version of yourself. No, but I think when mm. they say be yourself, it kind of means don't try to be something that you're not. In a sense that if you like, just because the girl likes 
the guy likes football and I don't like, and I'm like, oh my God, I love football. Yeah, that's not me. That's mm. me not being myself. It just means stay true to like your likes, your dislikes, your characteristics, mm. your traits, your morals, values, you know? Just because someone else prefers it a certain way, don't bend and pretend mm. that you're something else just to impress that person. Mm. Yeah. I do, I do. Yeah. Okay, I, I think yeah. there's a difference. Yourself when you're single and yourself when you're attached. And I think a lot of people hear that and go be myself. Like, okay, Lord, I just be the me, the version of me that yeah. is single. Yeah. So every day I go home, I play a game, I eat trash, then I, I go yeah. hang out with the boys and go, you know. Yeah, but yeah. then when you're attached, there's a different version of you. So I think if you want to say be yourself, go and be yourself, but in the partner mode. Yeah. yeah. Mm. For a long time, right, I kept trying to make myself like the interest, and similar to what you said. So like, I think I dated a girl who loves art, she's an artist herself. Mm-hmm. And then I would like suddenly get them into it. Like, oh, there's other exhibitions like happening this weekend. Ah. Us out, we go out and then I'm like, mm, oh yeah, you know, I love the- <laughs> Oh, I do try. I try to mold myself, right? Yeah. To really like the person's interest. Isn't that called simpy? It's damn simpy. No, and but I don't know why we do it. Yeah, but Actually, the problem is that it's, I also, I also. it's so tiring. <laughs> no, I end, it, end it, up now I love museums. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, no, it can help level in, up. ignite a new passion or flame because it's something you may never have explored before. Mm, but if yeah. you know deep down this is something I cannot stand, yeah. but you're still trying to fake it, then that's where you're crossing the line. Which is exactly the outcome. Like I just hated myself. I hated art. <laughs> I hated so many things. And then after I realized, right, at least what worked for me and Ned was that she appreciated what I loved or like, and that yeah. I have passions and yeah. that I get really into those things. And it didn't have to match what she loves. And I love the fact that she has her own passions. Mm, yeah. So yeah. like, I think yeah. don't try and mold yourself. No, Which but I when I was dating in the dating phase, right, whoever I meet, right, I try to like, act like that person. Act like that person? Like, I, I don't know how to say so. If the vibe from the guy is like, he very late bed and like, you smoke, so that kind of thing, then I'll be like, uh, smoking is cool. Or like, <laughs> like, oh, that's it, that's it. I won't say that, like, but it's like, if you want to go smoke, then I'm like, oh, smoke. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. can go there, I'll just sit there, like, being cool with it. And then I smell it. In here, the smoke. Like, oh, <laughs> in here, the smoke. <laughs> or like, or, like the decisions. person's very into, like, artsy. But then I feel like, I don't know what I'm doing. It's like, just <laughs> natural for me to just auto. It's, yeah. it's, it's a, a studied try, psychological thing for, mm. to be likable. Oh. It's called mirroring. Mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I tried to make the guy like I was trying to, I was trying to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Men often hear that dating gets better in their 30s. But how do you tell they are in love with you or have set up for what you you provide? If the man is choosing to date you and he's courting you, why you worry whether he's settling or not settling? Yeah, I agree. He has chosen you and he will commit to you. And honestly, every relationship is a region and a settler, right? So Do you believe mm, that? Uh? Is it true? Is this is this like universal that there's true. always a region and settler? Maybe not summed up there is one region, one one settler, but in different aspects of everything in life. But there must there be is a always a region. I guess what well, if you tally <laughs> everything up, la, then there will be a winner. <laughs> but I don't know how many categories there are. Yeah. I feel like there's only two primary richer settler. Everything else is supporting facts. Like what? There's looks and wealth. Even though he ugly, but he rich. You know? <laughs> Even though he not rich, not good looking, but he really takes good care of me. Everything else is a bug. And funny. No. He Smart. ugly, but he funny. There's this other scenario to, to ask yourself, which is that it could always be his personality that he did to marry. And you mm. just encountered him and he's dating to marry you. And because mm. the stars line up, you're in, he's in his 30s, you feel like he's rushing, but maybe he's not. Mm. But I feel like uh, the community got asked a question, which I thought was very true. Mm. Why do guys always end up marrying the one after? Like I forgot how they after phrase you it, break yeah. up the next one after ah, the break up oh, next one after uh, the break up like if they have a theory. long committed like six year relationship right break up right then three months later he date another girl he marry her within a year and real this- yeah <laughs> you know who I'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> only if you're in a long term relationship lah right yeah it must be a very serious one you very you serious. think you're gonna marry her the, everybody your friends your mother all thought you're gonna get married your if you don't make it your break up he's gonna marry the next one within a year. Is it because, right, he's been with that person for so long, right, that he's already, like, um, started tolerating quite a lot of flaws, right? But in actual fact, she know, he knows what he doesn't want. So then he's very, very clear, but he was willing to give it a go anyway. So then when he meets the next person, and most likely you will date someone that doesn't have all those flaws, right, and there's things that you want. So then now, you know, wait, this was a way better deal. Let's see. But they have their own set of flaws, right? I think what it is, right, is that the long-term relationship was your practice marriage because most people don't know what marriage consists of and what it, what it demands of a person, what it's supposed to be like. So then when you finally enter that long-term relationship with that person that you believe you're going to marry already, that was your practice with marriage. Mm. And now that you finally have understood what marriage really entails, then you also realize that this is not the person, but you know very clearly what you you want in a partner and in a yeah. marriage. Yeah, but that's, that's also kind of flawed though. In a sense whereby 
if it took you four to five years to realize that's how long I take to mm. learn that I don't like this person, how am I possible? How is it possible I can make a decision that I want to be this person forever within six months? But it could be that it took him five to six years to realize he is okay with marriage, not about the person. And mm. so now when he left the relationship, he's right. still okay with marriage. No, have you heard of That's the like taxi friends, cab like theory? Oh. Yeah, this I think this is right. Correct. Yeah, it's just, it's just you can date a guy for as long as you want, but it's nothing personal if he doesn't want to marry you. It's just he's not at that place. So it's really like a taxi cab. So just nice he steps out, puts his hand out, whatever taxi stops, that's the one he's marrying. It's just mm. convenience. It's not the person. It's not you anymore. It's not personal. It's just the man. He's not in the state to want to marry. And suddenly he's he's just in the state. He wants to marry whoever he's dating. That's the one. No, oh, that's so mm. personal. Yeah. I didn't know you can marry cars in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's so personal for the person he marries. Yeah. It feels yeah. like it didn't matter who it was. Yeah, it doesn't. I, that's, I mean, that's the theory. Yeah. 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 Do you lose interest in a woman if, yes. she, if she puts out with you, like she has sex with you on the first date? Is it put out? Put out is correct? Yeah. I, I it does not affect <laughs> does not affect anything. Oh. At this age though, you think? I think at this age I was sus. When I younger, I would think, oh my god, this is fantastic. No, but it could also be like if we naturally progressed to that, like the day was going well and the chemistry really off the charts, and then she just touched my thigh during a movie date because I would definitely do a movie date, and I just go, ah, shook. Okay, then let's go. Night, No, but what's that means? Y'all, y'all have sex. Have sex. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, it wouldn't be like. Oh, she's uh like slut or whatever. No, <laughs> mm. I think like okay. It must... doesn't change your perception of her. No. But you think after that it will change? Like now that you have sex with her, right? Then suddenly you like, feel like clarity. Post clarity. <laughs> <laughs> I think you evaluate a first date in so many different factors. My it was like what the chemistry was like, how the sense of humor, her interest, who she is as a person, and then plus the sex. If I liked all those other things, having sex on the first date won't suddenly change all those things. I wouldn't suddenly not like her or be interested in her. But if none of those things worked and then we had sex, the sex wouldn't suddenly make me attracted to her. Right. So the sex is almost inconsequential. It's just <laughs> cherry on top. It okay. is your cherry that she took and put it on top. Even better, I'll be so clingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. On, come on. You oh. hold them up, come on. I'll be texting her every minute. Hey, why not reply me? I would think that it affects the chase. The motivation that we might eventually have sex soon is a huge motivator in the chase. And I think I put a lot of effort in the chase or I rather I I think the chase is very important because many years in the relationship later, you always look back at the chase. You yeah. enjoy the chase also. I like. think it affects the chase. Yeah, it, the chase is fun. Every little thing, eh, you know, just drop me like a message or like what, wow, it makes my f- yeah, but I also think like how, how long was the chase? Because what if your first date took a long time? You guys were texting for like say a month and a half, six weeks. That was the chase. So when you finally got to the first date, right? It felt like this is it already. If it doesn't happen now, right? The chase too long already. No, I I, I, I will start counting from first date. From first date. Okay. Not the text. The text was the first date is the closer, ma. I yeah, didn't yeah. get you to say yes to meet me in person, mm-hmm. ma. Right? Mm-hmm. And then before that, I, I just put in on ads. Eh. After that, it's just <laughs> yeah, ads. tag lines. I just yeah. tag lines, KV, tag oh. line, KV. Nice. Okay. okay, my biggest fear is not that. The, uh, having sex with her as a turn off is that if we set the precedence like this, right, that we are always going to have sex, right, I'd be scared because my low sex drive, she thinks we're going to have sex all the time. <laughs> no, you're not going to Like if she thinks the everyday occurrence, whereas I think it's the one a week <laughs> yeah. occurrence. Like we're done. Don't ask me till September. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode. Please leave a comment down below. Tell us if you have any more dating questions for men. If not, please join our Telegram group. Give this video a like and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> but my best dating advice is from a guy. Ah, See? A little lah. He told me, cause I Man, he told me. <laughs> little lah. Yeah. Yeah, he told me like- Watanabe. <laughs> he told me <laughs> Watanabe, good job. <laughs> he told me. Good job, dude. Good job, dude. Nice one, nice one. Good combo, good combo. My brain not functioning. At least I'm trying to say the same thing for like- <laughs>